uh oh well here before we hop off here i'm gonna get into some more videos and write out but um love is blind controversy i don't know how much you want to get into detail I, oh no I, yeah that's fine i'm blind on this so paul's gonna break this down for us and kind of bring us up to speed and i'll look some stuff up here so uh, but yeah go ahead so okay so just kind of it's trash tv okay and i'm sorry my wife when we when i'm cooking and she's doing dishes and shit like she has a plan and yeah i get caught up in the drama too okay it's kind of fun i get invested in people's love lives okay and i go man i want this to work and this dude's a douche okay but so basically you have people who they kind of it's kind of like a apartment or hotel kind of like setting where they they stay in you know two separate areas men and women and they're all single living in, in that the kind same kind of like city region this this season was uh charlotte north carolina right okay so uh, objective is you go into a pod, which is a room where there's a wall and then on the other side is a member of the opposite sex, another single, and you guys talk and you try to connect and, and find who you're interested in, who you're going to make a connection with to agree to blindly agree because you don't see the person okay. to become engaged. Then the next step of the process is that you guys then live together. You live, you your, get engaged without seeing them. Yep. Wow. So love is blind, yeah, right? Literally. To see if so love is literally blind. Yeah. So then they go ahead and you live with each other in someone's apartment. You guys go ahead and you you go about your daily lives and you do that process for X amount of weeks. Okay. And then at the end of it, you are to make a decision whether or not you want to remain together and get married yeah. or separate. And again, it's, it's an experiment. It's not meant for everyone to get together. But it is interesting to see, and I love this about these competition shows and these like psych shows or sociology shows where it's like the way people act. Now, you have a guy, Jeremy, who uh, ironically on TikTok, there's a story. He's actually connected. I forgot about this. I brought it up, but he was living in Sarasota. Okay. The girl that he was dating was dating some dude in Port Charlotte. This was 2012 time. She was a body, like they were all bodybuilders and he kind of like ran like a little like, like, um, uh supplement thing so anyways they got together they moved there whatever i didn't watch i didn't finish the tiktok thing it's kind of clout but um he's he's like a psychopath sociopath type dude like he's like it's weird it's so narcissistic it's kind of weird but anyways he kind of liked these two chicks then he had uh chelsea and sarah ann okay so he he chooses chelsea who she was kind of between this guy trevor and him she chooses him so they get married they go Right, or they get engaged and they go, they date. Then you had um, this dude Clay and, and this chick AD. Now Clay was only digging AD. Really, AD was with uh, this. I forget the other dude's name who was a kind of a liar. And like, I, I'm glad he didn't get picked because he's kind of the type that you might think would like want to choose someone to murder him, right? So uh, AD and Clay they choose, but Clay kept like talking this whole like, man, I don't know. Like, like afterwards, like after they got together. Yeah, and now they're in the real world. Like they had this like lunch, and he's just kind of like, and I don't know if you've seen the meme of like some like stacking plates and going like by the end. And he's like like a good looking like like tall long black dude, and he's just like the entire time he's just like kind of talking about how like I don't I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to cheat on you. I don't want to cheat on you. And it's like why are you like like precasting like the fact that you're going to cheat on her and shit like that, right? Yeah. So maybe he did it on accident before. Well, again, he's probably a cheater, and now he's like kind of like like trying to like like low the blow. Now you learn that like his dad used to take him, like would cheat on his mom. His parents were married for like 23, 24 years. He would uh cheat on his mom, right? Yeah. With Clay being with him at the chick's house. Nice. Okay. So bring your kid to go cheat on your wife. Wild. Yeah. So he has like this weird thing. But anyways, then you had <laughs> Jimmy, who like, bro, this one, he was filming this chick Jess, and then he was filming um no, my bad. He was with Chelsea. I take that back. He's with Chelsea. Jeremy was with get Laura. That police report off the screen. Laura was with Chelsea. My, I mean, Laura was with Jeremy. Jimmy's with Chelsea. So he's looking at Chelsea and Jessica. Jessica writes in this letter talking about, hey, like, I have a daughter and all this, and I love you, and I, this is how I feel. And, yeah. bro, his response was just like, oh. She's like, she's like, what? And he's like, I really wasn't signing up to be a, mom, a, a dad. Yeah was it his kid no like like so okay. she has a 10 year old and he's like yeah, he's like he's like, so he's like well which again if you're gonna look, date someone in the 30s like there's gonna be baggage so then the next chick comes in chelsea and she breaks the news that she's that she's divorced 
And he's like, he's like, what the fuck? So anyway, so he picks Chelsea, bro. This is where it goes. Jeremy comes out. They, he goes on a fucking, uh, to the bar, sends Laura his location. Be like, look, you can trust me, right? Yeah. All right, so so you can trust me. So so he sends the location. You say, Andre, you got an opinion on this, brother? I <laughs> promise, man. I want to hear your opinion for real. And then and then what, what wound up happening was, bro, he went with that other chick, Sarah Ann, that he was talking to, met up with her. No, yeah, Sarah Ann met up with her till five a.m. Took her home and everything. Yeah, right. So obviously they separate. It's a long drive. So he said it was eight minutes away. I might as well take her home at five a.m. <laughs> it's like okay. So like obviously the and so so it's just it's just funny like like the way that it all goes. Now there's like. One couple that actually like 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 turned out like got married, and they were like meant to be like they only had each other throughout the entire thing and the pods everything. Mm-hmm. Um, then it comes out that the one dude Trevor had a girlfriend going into it. Yeah. Nicholas Shea puts him on blast at the reunion. Damn, puts text messages up on TV talking about how he was it's telling awesome. his his ex how much he loved her and he has to go do the show and, yeah. and if it doesn't work he'll be there but he has to see and do this experiment and then he leaves doesn't get picked. So he leaves and texts her immediately, like, I love you so much. So he was doing it for love, though. That's my take. There's no money involved? No, you don't win money. Okay, and he he wasn't in it for the fame? Maybe. Maybe he's in it for clout, but at the same time... You don't think that makes a difference? Maybe, but... What if he truly was in it for love? People take breaks. That's that's my thing. So so he said, he said the reunion, like, 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 it was a toxic relationship. And the thing is, the chick, Chelsea, that he was kind of going with, the dude, Jimmy... She lied her ass off, bro. She's in the pods and she says, she goes, my friends told me that I look like a celebrity, but maybe I shouldn't have say. And he said, who? Now bring up Chelsea. Love is blind. Okay. She tells this fucking man. I, and the moment she said, I said, why in the fuck? She said, my friends tell me I look like Megan Fox. Bro, the expectation you just put on yourself. And then the way that you truly look now, she's a pretty like like she's not like she's not a bad looking woman. Oh, okay, I can see I can see the Megan Fox, but that is that. not Megan Fox, bro. Yeah, I can see that. It's Megan not Fox. Megan Fox. It, it, From a normal lady standpoint, it, but it look they got them here next to each other. Yeah, I can see it. Sure, sure, sure thing. Trying, she's just trying to give you a picture, something to right on. So he comes out immediately. And was like, oh, not not Megan Fox. So he, oh my god! So so, listen, did he did he expect a clone? The stupid fuck! No, I mean, no bro. Again, but again, that's an expectation. She put, normal- bro, people are dumb. So then, so then he then immediately goes and checks out the other chick that he was talking to Jessica on Instagram. All right, yeah. And it's right. like, all right, well, 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 I like what she looks like. And then like she, like Chelsea knows, and she's drunk all the time. Oh, hold so, on. So this is the lady that he didn't go forward with. Yes. So he never got to see her. Yes. Okay. So then he's like, "Well, what did she look like?" Yes. Okay. And then the Sarah and so Sarah so, so back to Jeremy who who met with the chick at five a.m. right? Yeah. Well, till five a.m. Before that, she sent him a message on social media talking about the, how the door is still open if he ever wants to like change yeah, yeah. his mind. Oh wow! And it's like then you go meet up with her until like five a.m. and it's like, bro, Laura was like, "Are you fucking dumb?" And people are killing her like 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 she was like like berating him and it's like, "Are you fucking serious?" Like you're wasting time. So yeah, my yeah. question with all this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you believe one that those shows should be a thing or, or, or if there's worth it? But two, if you go on that show, should you give it your all? Like the guy Clay led the girl AD on the entire time and she was doing yeah. everything for him. Then at the he was altar, giving his all, that's what you're saying. Yeah, she was giving her all. And then at the altar, he said no. Yeah. And he's like, he's like it would be irresponsible for she me to marry that. you. Because I'm like shaking the table. Yeah, he's like it'd be irresponsible for me to marry you and it's like why'd you take her all the way to this time like like bro like y'all picked everything out like why'd you take it all the all the way here he decided it was right is it too late and so if at that point you decide it's not right and did he did he presumably is is he making this decision because she didn't look like megan fox is that what the no no no, no. So, so, so that's another one that one like like yeah they separated right before the altar like he decided like like i can't like i i don't want to go to the altar like i don't want to do it like i don't want to marry megan fox yeah so in like Again, man, apparently he's been dated like like half the cast afterward. Right, so it's right. like dated. It's where he's just been smacking. Damn. Okay. Smacking, smacking. That's what, I, what it sounds like to me but, is a little bit of uh, jealous ones envying my brother. But it's just it's just wild to me because it's like, I don't know. Like is if I were well, I guess. Oh, oh, that's another thing. Welcome where he had two at. best friends, where he had these two best friends that are females, had him meet the chick and all, right? 
and then tells her in private four way that tells them in private that he has smacked one of them, but they, but you know, they, they working on the other. They, 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 they just realize that the better off as friends. Yeah, yeah. And so this, she That's brought right. it up on camera and he was like, I told you that in confidence, I can't trust you anymore. And then four weeks goes by. And then when they had the conversation, they have to have to like, be like, Hey, are we going to go through this? He brought that conversation up. It was like, you betrayed my trust. Then I can't do this. And it's like, then why'd you go the past the next four weeks, bro? And that shit was that big of a deal. Yeah. And it's like, bro, I, again, it is what it is. And you shouldn't marry somebody that you don't well, want to marry. So to, so answer, to answer your question, I think that um, should these kind of shows exist? I don't think I have. It is a little. So it is definitely like degenerate behavior. So right. I'm not saying I don't look down on people that go on them. I definitely do. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, like I said, I, I get the entertainment value. I wouldn't want to like outlaw it as my thing. Like I don't watch shows like this, to be honest. Like I don't watch Love is Blind because I don't really find too much interest in it. There's a few times that I've like seen these shows in passing. And I like I, said, I can see the entertainment value. But I just ultimately end up feeling like it's a fucking waste of time and I'm watching these people that are idiots. <laughs> dumb, um, bro. So, it's so, bro, it's uh, so dumb. And, and, and yeah. Because again, again, it's like, again, you 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 have a few like like one or two couples every season that like kind of like like do work yeah so that's where it makes sense because again it's a great social experiment and like for the guy Trevor and this is like okay, where we want to bring that, home say it was never successful why would that so do you like because your initial question was should it because exist? because then because then it wouldn't be for what they portray it out to be is to find true love it would be honestly just for an entertainment value so again it's uh, again which which do do what you want freedom to do what the fuck you want. But uh, yeah. like the guy Trevor, for example, like like I like again, I look at shows and, and I say, what's the purpose? And then like, okay, yeah. so the guy Trevor, like he was saying in in on the reunion, he he was in a toxic relationship. This is the guy that was in a relationship. Yes. Ooh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, he ended up a, going back to the girl that yeah. he was with before. Gotcha. So he was in a toxic toxic relationship that he couldn't get out of. Yeah. So he was going to use the show to say <laughs> he to, couldn't get out of to, to say hey, which again, man, like 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 that's a real thing that people do go through. What where, the fuck do you mean? How can you not? What do you get mean? Out of like it? like because again, you got to put yourself in people's shoes because not they, because, not wanting to get out of it. I yes, guess, and like because, being, yes, like, that's that, that's what it out. is. Like like okay, like but like not you don't get want out of it because because you feel like oh, it could be, it could be, it could be, oh, okay, and then you stay right, through the right. bullshit. Right, it happens all the time. That's not the same as can't that, get out of it. That, though, that's okay. but, yeah, but again, I hear you. You're, mentally, you're, yeah, gotcha. you're, you're, okay, you're so you. mentally trapped. Anyways, you. we're with you. I feel you. I feel anyways, you. we're on safe. So Trevor, like, I I get where like he was like, hey, I want to try something new. I want to go do this experiment and see if I can find someone outside of what I usually go for this toxicity and yeah. kind of get a fresh start. Oh, he wanted the toxic shit at the end. Well, then I thought it he didn't found work. out through this. Well. So it, through well, because like from my perspective, if somebody didn't watch it, it seems like the way I can give him grace is thinking like, "Hey, I need to test this theory. Go see if like I'm holding on to this thing for a reason or whatever." Right. The fuck. And then he came out on the other side. He's like, "Okay, I was holding on to it for a reason. I I want to go back to that because I love this person. Maybe, yeah. or he got rejected." So maybe he feels like, hey, this person does want me, and let's see. Or maybe the guy was somewhere in pods with a group of fucking guys for weeks yeah. and was horny as shit and knew that he could have his ex the moment he got out yeah. and went and got some. That is a normal thing that people, men and women, do. So, so to fucking for Nick Lachey and his wife, who she is, oh, God, annoying. If you were to put What's them... I thought she's famous, too, right? Yeah, she's famous, too. Isn't it I thought he was married to Jessica Simpson. Bro, that was so long ago. They were Golly. toxic. Toxic. Oh my god. Oh. oh never mind. But no, bro. Like, right, I, let's, I, up, it, let's go up. Nick Lachey and his woman. Is she, she's just, she just, bro. She's drama. She just wants the drama. And it's like, man, it, it's annoying. But anyways, like for him to put him on blast was kind of like I get their point where like you came here for the wrong reasons. I remember this lady. I don't remember what. From. It's like oh, you came here for the wrong reasons. It's like yeah, but so did the guy Jeremy. Which bro, I I, I don't know if like like there's clips on it, but but uh. Yeah. The, the girl that he met at 5 a.m., like, 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 after him and Laura, like, separated, like, the, at the end, they do this, like, big... Is this on the show? Do they get yeah. to leave for the show? So he left the show one day and was like, okay, let me go pipe something down. Yeah. Really? So, That's what it was. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so, so the guy, Jeremy, was like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 he went to the bar 
and was like, uh, I met friends and then went and like, yeah, anyways. So hold on. Through this entire experiment, you're not supposed to be having sex with anybody else. Is of course, you're in a you're you're in an engagement with somebody. You are not in a relationship with a person you've never fucking seen. I'm not trying to hear that. What the fuck? No, I think because we we're pods, about to have a major disagreement brother. after the pods, you you after you agree to marry you're each TV other. Engaged, hold on, no, like the WWE. No, after the you agree to be about? engaged, you guys then live together. You guys are in a relationship. On TV, but you're, it, it's whose real house? life to them. Whose one house? of their house. They move into. They choose whose house they're going to move okay. into. How do they choose that? They they discuss it. Let's talk about it before they leave. On or, TV? No, no, no. They, they they go. They see each other's places and they, or like I, I guess they discuss it while they're in there. Some do. Okay. But anyway, sounds like so. I need to check in on it. But but, but anyway, so so they're in a relationship. So then it's like you're supposed to do that justice. You don't just then go and be like, oh, I I think I chose the wrong person. Let me go fuck this other chick. And it's like, bro, they did such a bad job of like of like hiding their intention. Like, like they, they go to this lake house afterwards, and he like starts like him and Laura have a talk, and he's just cold like like he's been. And then she's like, Okay, go ahead and have Sarah Ann have fun. Sarah Ann's there. So then he goes, Sarah, and you want to talk? And she's like, Yeah. So then they go down and they talk. And she's just like, I'm not a bad person. I wanted this this experience too. Huh. And it's like, dude, she's engaged. He's engaged and you wrote her. And I get where like you're like, it's not real. Like, like, yeah. And Same. I get where she's like, hey, just I, TV. I had feelings too. But it's like, allow it to play its course. Yeah. No, to play its fucking course. Yeah. I hear you. I mean, so it's just, it was just, it was, again, it's a drama show. It's a yeah. drama show. They got the drama started. Like, I love it. And, it's, it. and it's fun. But it's, yeah, the, yeah, there's a lot of bullshit. And I don't know. It is trash TV, though. I, it's shit well, TV. It is. Yeah. Well, I mean, but sometimes that's good. I, I'll put some bullshit on, like, while I'm editing. I can do one stuff. episode I, a day. I need some shit like that, actually, like, while I'm, because sometimes I'll get too wrapped up. In, or I have to rewatch the same shit over and over again because I'm not paying attention to it while I'm editing and shit. So, um, somewhere I could just watch the fuckery and just watch people get smacked upside their fucking head. That'd be great. Um, or people just talk through a wall. That'd be cool. That sounds like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, it's, no, it's, 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 sarcastic. it's not for the dudes. <laughs> But you know, your I wife likes some, it, yeah, and, and it's one of those that you just watch, and you're like, oh, you know, I hate this show. Then she watches, and you're like, you know what? I'm be honest. What's going on? I'll be honest. Like. I've been turned on to cook cooking shows.